La, 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 la. Hey everybody, don't you love my beautiful singing? I know I do. Welcome back to Star Wars Rebellion. Um, we're busy here in the Farfin sector, fart finning around. That gives c 3 po a good boner time. Boom. <laughs> we are taking a risk by sending our fleet um, here, the first fleet, which is mostly ships like the Corellian Corvette. Um, if we're going to look at them, their stats, they have laser cannons. They're good at shooting fighters. They're not good at shooting other capital ships. So if there's an Imperial Star Destroyer there, we could be in trouble. If the Tyrant or the Despot gets there, Imperial Dreadnoughts. I dread them a lot. Dreadnought is an ancient heavy cruiser that dates... Ooh, it's going to have a date. From the time of the Old Republic. Uh, standard Imperial Dreadnoughts are basically the same as the original Old Republic Dreadnoughts. Except they now carry a hangar deck for a squadron of TIE Fighters. Because of its relatively slow speed, the Imperial Dreadnought primarily serves as a convoy, escort, or patrol ship. So those are like old, old capital ships for the um, Empire. What? That green cog means the Empire is doing a mission there. They're trying to subdue the uprising. Interesting. Informants have provided us with information about Freitas. Because Freitas likes us a lot, people have told us that their commando is trying to put down the uprising and that General Clev is en route. He'll be there on day 76. So what we're going to do... Oh, we're not there yet, are we? I thought our fleet was there already. We'll be there in four days. What's going on in Rishi? When is Mon Mothma going to get her old ass there? Day 56? She's almost there. I should have sent Wedge along. Oh, man. Because while he's waiting to do... You know, the things he wants to do, like sci-fi, making ships and stuff? He, I should have sent him with the fleet. Once the fleet arrives, I think I'm going to tell Wedge, Yo, dude, go catch up! You the man, Wedge Antilles. Mmm, potato Wedge Antilles. That sounds so delicious with cheese on it and ketchups. Here's a little festive hat for you, Far 2 d 2 and Creepio. <laughs> if you've never seen the Oral Knots in their um, Star Wars videos, you should. Construction yard deployed at Comb. All right, take me there. Where the hell is Comb? Oh, right up here. Oh, and they're building another one. Once that's done, we might destroy something here at Rishi, like a refinery, so we can get some shipyards here sooner. So we can make a major shipyard base here in Rishi. Okay, more infiltrators deploy to Rishi. In fact, you know what? Let's send you guys way over here to delay, uh, so you can try and help Tura if you happen to get there in time. And our fleet is about to show up at Freitas. Let's hope to God there's no Star Crew or Imperial Star Destroyers there. There aren't. Fleet arrives at Freitas. Uh, X-Wing Squadra's been deployed at War Tandel. That's the um, system where we uh, not Wedge's Lando is. And we have initiated a blockade of Freitas. Excellent. That'll make it harder for Clev to get in there. So we want to stop these Imperial Commanders from trying to put down the Uprising. When will the Tyrant be here? Day 50. Day 60. Alright, so the Tyrant will be here... Ahead of the despot, maybe we could fight them separately. So, Durlin, you and the infiltrators, you try and take out the commandos. So they can quit trying to put down the uprising. Han and Chewie, oh man, they're trying to send Jer Jer Gerard and Griff there. They're trying to make a major push. Oh, and they put down some Imperial Fleet regiments as reinforcements. Imperial Fleet Regiments are the mainstay troops aboard capital ships. They assist in conducting ground assault missions. They're generally better equipped than regular army regiments. So, um, hmm. If they're not as good as the regular regiments, army regiments comprised of the largest percentage of Imperial ground troops 
Army regiments are armored. It's the same, or the same as fleet regiments, but do not carry the firepower of their fleet counterparts. So, so they'll go shoot them in their buttholes. You got it. See, he wanted to. It's not my fault. Wedge, you and Chewie, you guys go join the fleet. So we're basically using our guys here as the sexy um, assault squads, basically. They're kind of like Navy SEALs. Like the fleet's out here, and then they're coming in in their space dinghies. <laughs> it's a great point of space dinghies. So Brent's trying to get rid of the Imperial Commandos here. And Han and uh, Luke are trying to get rid of the Imperial Army Regiment because we want to keep this rebellion, this uprising, I should say, going. Ooh, Brent's like, I succeeded. I destroyed the, uh, what were they? The commandos. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Hell yeah, Han Solo. You the man, Solo. Okay, construction yard deployed to Hollow One. Where the hell is Hollow One? All right, okay, so Hollow One is there. Oh, they're building more there. That's good, though. We'll get a bunch of construction yards. That's here in the Faker system. It's probably pronounced differently, but whatever. I'm having fun with it. So they succeeded on that. All right, Han and Luke. Han's the man. You're in charge again, because when Luke was in charge, I think Luke was like, Hey, um, can I blow you up? Oh, my parents are dead. I told you it was gonna work. Han Solo is the man. Look, he did it again. They just like, no, I just walked up and was like, "What's over there?" And they turned around and I shot him in the back of the head. Oops. If we can get rid of this Imperial Fleet Regiment here, once again, Han will be the main man. Luke will be the one running around like a dweeb, like, "Hey, everybody, look at me!" You got it. Is that a wiener or my space laser? <laughs> oh, Luke. Uh, isn't Bren back, too? We could actually have Bren work on the exact same thing, in case they fail. And we will have two different Special Forces units trying to get rid of the Imperial Fleet. Uh, Army unit. Let's keep a look at that. Day 52 is, I gotta remember, an Imperial Fleet shows up on Day 50, so... Man, do we make Freitas our headquarters then? Because it already has two... They're building TIE Fighters there. Two ship construction yards there. Hmm. That might be worth doing if we can. And then have these guys just send the shipyards they're building to Freitas instead. In fact, I bet we'll do that. Because they're constructing them here on Rishi. That was a really big thing what happened right there. If you saw a bunch of things turn red, what happened is... Well, we'll look right here. Bren succeeded in destroying the Imperial Fleet units. I have to throw them on our ships right away just in case. Put them in the fleet. And so what happened is the uprising there ended... And they overthrew the rebels, or the Imperials, with our help. Because Luke and Han helped them destroy the troops. The uprising of Freitas has ended. And that caused Tanab and K Kenyan to join us and Freitas. Because once they threw them off, they joined us. And the Tanab's like, whoa, the rebellion's pretty awesome. They free people. We want to be a part of that. What the hell's the mission there? Oh, Crix Madin is doing research. All right, we're going to move some of these troops from here to Freitas. Freitas is going to be our new headquarters, so to speak. We're going to destroy one of the mines. You see we have a higher mine number here. That means we have that much more refinery. I'm sorry, refinery. These are refineries. These are the mines. We have that much more refinery capacity. And we don't need it. So we're going to scrap this. 
The reason I want to do that is we need three energy spots. Because here in Rishi, we're building orbital um, shipyards that we were going to ha have deployed here. But we're going to change their destination to Freitas. So now that opens up energy spots here. And more importantly, uh, we'll hopefully eventually have five ship um, yards construction spots here. So let us build. Let's build some X-Wings here. And now what do we do? That's the big thing is, do we have anybody left here that's good at diplomacy? Well, Mon Mothma will be here soon. Does she get here day 50? Six. I meant that, 50 sacks. Uh-oh, Battle of Freitas. Right, so we have a Corellian Corvette, a few fighters, more Corellian Corvettes, a really, really old bulk cruiser, and the Imperial forces have the Tyrant. I think we're going to do it. This is where we're going to make our stand, unless an Imperial Star Destroyer shows up, then we're going to run like cowards. The fleet is ready, Admiral. What are your orders? Uh, I want you... To attack them? Task Force 1 acknowledged. Engaging targets. Task Force 2 acknowledged. Engaging targets. And you can see that uh, Luke and Han are like in that task force on those ships. Oh, I should have moved it. Ah, wrong way. Controls are still a little funky on this. Task Force 3 acknowledged. Engaging targets. My guess is they're going to try and run. Red Group acknowledges mission assignment. We're telling the X-Wings to attack, and we're going to tell the Y-Wings to do the same. These guys will probably... Blue Group acknowledges mission assignment. They will probably jump to hyperspace before we can get there and do any serious damage. This is the shields right here. This is the shield bar. This is the hull bar. This is the shield regen rate. When you knock that down enough, their shields aren't going to regen. Um, that was their guns. In a battle, when we really fight, you'll see more. So far, we've mostly just scared people off. Later on in the game... The Imperial fleet is withdrawing. We've won. I know. I was there. I was a part of it. The Alliance fleet is victorious. Uh, later on, we will... Uh, we're going to do something. I forgot. <laughs> Alright, so Mon Mothma is bound to recruit a bunch of people in this area. So what we're going to do, where is there a system Ando maybe? We want a system that likes us and that we can start kind of getting everyone to like us in the area. So either we go to Balfron Well, Balfron is closer. We're going to do that. We're going to have Han. He's going to be like, oh wait, where the hell is Chewie? Chewie, when are you going to get here? Because you're coming with. Day 53? All right, we're going to go forward a few days. Because basically we did all the stuff here that we really can use Han most effectively with. Han and Luke. And we want to send them to another area here like Belfron, where they like us, but the Imperials are, you know, repressing them. Help, help. They're being oppressed. Any moment now? Maybe? And there's stuff going on other places that we can't see because of the fog of war. Like, there got to be planets here that the Empire is getting to like them more and more. Certainly, though, this episode, look at all these red planets that like us. Definitely a jump up in helping us. In fact, what's Tanab got? Ooh. They can build ships too. Destination Freitas. We're going to have you build some Y-Wings. Because you can see they have ion cannons, which are good for taking down shields. The older twin-engine Y-Wing still sees a lot of action in the Alliance fleet, mounting a turret and laser cannon, an ion cannon, in addition to heavier armor. The Y-Wing has a good choice for heavy assault missions. So we built six of those there. And then Kenyon was the other one that joined up. Ooh, they have a construction facility. We will send those to Rishi. 
and build some construction facilities on Rishi, or for Rishi, so that Rishi can start making things faster. So we'll get a bunch of construction facilities here, bunch of star construction, starship construction places here. Things are looking good in Farfin. I say that though, but an Imperial Star Destroyer could still ruin everything for us. Um, Chewie's there, right? Okay. So you all... You're not gonna go with the fleet. Han's gonna take you all... Not Wedge. Oh, in fact, we can just put Wedge on research. I will take some of the infiltrators with us. We'll move to War Tandel. 34 days, man, that sucks. Oh well, it's gotta be done. Burn, you are going to be the commander. Wedge, your job is to go to Freitas and do ship design research, because we need some Nebulon B frigates, something that's better, because what we got ain't so good. So the big goal right now is we're going to try and get a bunch of X-Wings and Y-Wings built here. So hopefully we can build a base that's strong enough where they can't actually assault us. I was going to say insult us. They're like, you're fat. You're Pauble the Hut. Shut up. I'm natural for a slug. <laughs> Whatever, man. Um, let's look at the Sluis section. Long ago we sent John, Jan Donna, Donna down there. And holy crap. Speak of the devil, we sent Leia Organa down there to try and get them on our side, and she's got a message for us. We did it! Uh, her diplomacy mission worked. She's like, I made out with my brother. I might make out with you if you join us. They're like, hell yeah, Carrie Fisher, you're hot! Oh, and he succeeded at diplomacy too, even though they didn't join us. So, um, Mom Calamari joins us, and Praestalin? The reason Praestalin did is I guess Mon Calamari joined and so Praestalin's like, yeah, somebody else joined, we will too, because you know how it is with people. You don't want to be the first on a ride or whatever. Ooh, do, so do we have her keep working here or do we send her to Umgal? Her diplomacy is 121, that is wicked. And the more time she succeeds like that, the higher it's gonna go. The adopted daughter of the Old Republic Senator Bail Organa of Alderaan. How's Alderaan doing, Princess Lor Leia Organa? Too soon? Sorry. And the Senator herself until disp the disbanding of the Imperial Senate, Princess Leia Organa is a fiery visionary and an unequal diplomat. She is one of the most passionate voices of dissent against the Emperor's new order. It was her bravery that provided the Alliance with the technical data they used to destroy the first Death Star. We're going to have her We've abort her mission. The reason I'm going to have her do that, even though we don't have 100% support here, is I'm going to send her to Danab to try and... I hope you know what you're doing. I don't, but I'm trying to try and win the people over there to our side. Man, so far so good. I say that, but I know there's an Imperial fleet somewhere. It's probably headed towards Yavin. That is, maybe one good thing is they're probably going to go bomb the crap out of Yavin. Thinking we're still there. We can move our headquarters too. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Our headquarters can move. That is one advantage of the uh, um, Alliance headquarters. The downside is the enemy can destroy it. Like, we can't destroy Coruscant, the capital of the Empire. But we can capture it. But they can capture it back. Our capital, they can just blow up and then it's done for the game. And then, um, I think that's a big negative for us, popularity-wise. Uh-oh. I've arrived. Alright, Mon Mothma arrives at Rishi. You just arrive at Freitas. Yavin's under a blockade! Oh, they're already gone. That was probably a big Imperial fleet there. Possibly. Not guaranteed. So, Mon Mothma, I want you to go to Freitas and recruit people. Understood. Infiltrators, you guys need to get a Put on the fleet there, just in case. Alliance army unit, you can go there too. 
when's the death spot gonna get there? Day 60. We have a little bit of time. I think we can take that if need be. It'll probably run away. We will have our Y-Wing long probe. Why don't you go probe yourself, bro? There. Well, not bad. We got a bunch of planets to join us so far. We're getting stronger. But we have yet to see much of the might of the Empire. It is certainly out there. I can't guarantee you, but I wouldn't be surprised at all if, like, Tangren, if they used to like us more. Soon all of this will probably be green Empire territory. So the next big number date for us. There'll be things before that. Ooh, we're going on a date. When Solo and crew get to Dolomar. When Lando and Han get back together. That's a little ways off at day 87. That's pretty cool, though. Well, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying it. I know C-3PO is. Robo boner. <laughs> That's so stupid, but whatever. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I hope to see you next time.